the most healthy from amongst us as well as the sick. May Allah give them cure. They are all. Hey yo, what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny Jesse So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video and before we get into the reaction guys I want to thank everybody out there who've been subscribing to our channel you the realist MVP uh, And also want to thank the people who've been giving us uh, informative comments in the comment section below you guys are really really amazing and uh, Man, you guys are super amazing. I remember I did a video about uh uh, me starting to fasting and stuff like that and I got some positive feedbacks which really encouraged me so 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 nice and I'm gonna give you on um, I'm gonna give you an update on how things are going uh, during this uh, period of fasting I, I started fasting a few days ago and I'm gonna give you my uh, direct experience to you guys and I think um, it's gonna be a, a good time to to listen to my experience and stuff like that. Anyway, um, I, man, I just want to thank the people who've been uh, encouraging me on the comment section below. You guys are really amazing. So anyway, today we're gonna do another reaction video, and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people. They suggested that I should go react to, or we should go react to, advice from our prophet. Stay at home. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. I love you. We are definitely facing challenges. Many people are unwell, some are struggling with their lives, some have passed away. Although the percentage of those who have passed away is very little, we cannot risk infecting people. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us more than 1400 years ago to stay at home. Today, if you were to look at what the rich and the poor are saying, they are saying, stay safe, stay at home. The wealthy are saying that, the poor are saying that, the powerful are saying that, the weak are saying that, people of all races and religions are saying, stay safe stay at home people from all walks of life the most healthy from amongst us as well as the sick may allah give them cure they are all saying stay safe stay at home did you know that aisha anha, in a hadith narrated by imam bukhari rahmatullahi alayhi, she says i asked the messenger about plagues and he said that if you were to stay at home, this is speaking about the stay safe, stay at home. If you were to stay at home and you were to bear patience, then you would be given a reward similar to that of a martyr. Amazing. That is telling us to stay at home and bear patience. Why bear patience? Because it's going to be difficult to stay at home. We're not used to staying at home. Look at the wealthy with all their wealth have to stay at home. The safest place at the moment is with your loved ones at home or at times if you don't have loved ones around you, stay within your accommodation, within your home. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. The Prophet sallallahu says in another narration that a sick person should not enter into the company of a person who is healthy and this is part of laying full trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you lay your trust in Allah, you need to do whatever you can in terms of what you believe is best for you. That would, that would mean make an effort to do that which is beneficial for you that which is most beneficial for you. Make an effort to do that which is most beneficial for you and seek the help of Allah in that and don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Do whatever you have to, to be benefited, to be protected. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. In another narration, the Prophet sallallahu tells us that 
if you hear of a plague, don't go to that place. And if you are in the place, then don't come out of the place to the degree that the narration of Imam Ahmad says, don't go out of your house. And that would mean don't let anyone else into your house. Talk about the lockdown, talk about self-isolation, talk about the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In fact, his instructions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Wow. Huh. <clears throat> the message is just clear. Uh, everybody should stay at home. Yeah. Staying at home is the key message here. I mean, okay, everybody knows we're going through uh, the pandemic, hard times, very, very critical times, extraordinary uh, times. You get it? And the only way we can prevent this is by staying at home. But again, let us not look at it like we are being subjected to uh, what do you call this? Like torture. You get it? I understand it's kind of hard for you actually to to stay at home because you're not used to that. Because you know when you're used to like every day coming out of your house in the morning, going to work, coming back in the evening, you find it kind of weird to stay at home like the entire month, which at some point it's gonna be so monotonous and you're gonna lose it uh, I myself I'm already starting to losing uh, my mind and stuff like that but I'll tell you uh, the reason as to why I'm trying to avoid myself from losing my mind what are the things that I'm trying to do that will not make me lose my mind staying at home is good on the other side but again on the other side it's a bad thing <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a, it's a, it's a, it's something that when 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 you look at it critically, there are some uh, depression, there's some stress that comes with staying at home. You get it, cause you look at things like they're not the same anymore. Your life has changed. You're not doing your daily routine. You're not going out there to run. You're not doing your physical type of things. You're not doing errands and all those kind of things. Uh, at that particular moment you start beginning to have stress levels and uh, maybe stress levels are going to go high a little bit or maybe you're going to be uh, having some sort of depression and whatnot some people don't even have food some people had restaurants where they were depending on their restaurants to actually um, you know get money from the restaurants but that's just another story we're talking about staying at home staying at home is good we've already like uh agreed on that one but okay what are the dangers of staying at home the entire time are you staying at home just to stay at home or are you staying at home but again you realize that you need to go out a little bit take a walk uh get some nice fresh air go to nature try to you know um have that nice uh, air out there because as we speak now um, outside is really beautiful because it's it's everything is clear now the birds are just chopping they are, everything is coming out clean and the, the air is just clean and it's beautiful why don't you just go out and try to breathe in and out as long as you're not getting into contact with somebody else you get it um, the most important thing of 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 you going out and i'm not saying you should go out frequently you should have your time maybe you should be outside for like two hours and then come back if you have a backyard you can just go in your backyard and then just have a nice sun uh uh what do you call um sun sun bath or something get yourself some sun very important vitamin d is very important at this particular time when you're in the house you need to get vitamin d very very important and it actually gives you a lot of energy if you didn't know that um another thing i know there are people who don't have uh what do you call this uh backyards in their houses maybe these guys are living in their apartments flats and all those kind of things they only have a corridor or a balcony 
where probably the sun doesn't even rise from their side or it doesn't even like get to them i think i will advise you if there is a park somewhere in your in your in your hood just go take a walk exercise a little bit it's very very important when you exercise you actually re release stress levels you get it like stress levels sometimes go down stress levels go to a minimum um um uh, level or something like that it, it's really good staying at home is not bad i'm not saying you, sh you should you should not stay at home it is good so that we can curb the the spread of of covid19 but at the same time you have to think critically think critically if i stay at home what are the benefits that i'm going to get in here that i'm not going to get when i go get the sun or get a nice fresh air take your kids um for uh a little walk you understand but just know that you do you, sh you should just be cautious enough you shouldn't get in contact with people around you get it just take your kids outside you understand because i know we are the very crucial moment but again we need to sustain ourselves in the best level possible and by going out into the sun by breathing fresh air by walking and exercising those are very very key uh, important thing that humans should actually do and uh, yeah i mean um it's it's pretty logic if you stay at home the whole time trust me you will start losing it you will start losing it so for me the exact thing that i've explained to you that's exactly what i normally do i wake up in the morning do my meditation uh focus on my breathing go out exercise play basketball just alone I, I, I don't indulge with other people just me alone come back home get some sun you get it such kind of things it really really makes you actually fuel up uh to the next day or something and it makes you feel more rejuvenated and feeling so um energized and having um more energy to even do things in the house that you've never done before i mean super amazing anyway guys uh but the best thing again is staying at home so that we can cover the spread of covid19 and yeah so if you feel like i reacted to the video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in the comment section and tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction what you feel about this video of mufti meng telling us the advice from our prophet staying at home and of course this advice were coming from the prophets as he was mentioning in the video you could just tell that um, there's some elements of of uh, messages that were being picked from what he was just saying and it was just um, actually vividly saying that people should stay at home and uh, uh, try to avoid um at this particular moment just going out and whatnot i mean incredible anyway and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more keep on subscribing the more give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm going to see you rather we're going to see you in the next video and peace out